Now let's do set number 38, Mathematics. Question number one. A safety box has three layers of metal, each of with a different width. If one layer is one eighth inch thick, a second layer is one sixth inch thick thick and the total thickness is three fourth inch thick what is the width of the third layer so ang first layer is one ha uh, a one eight plus yung second i one six so yung third let x be the third layer equals kasi ang total nila i three fourth I-add muna natin ito by finding the least common denominator. Ang least common denominator dyan ay 24. Mayroon tayong separate video on how to find the least common denominator. 24 divided by 8 equals 3. So, 3 times 1, 3. In other words, si 1, 8 ay equivalent ng 3 over 24. Plus, 24 divided by 8 of 6 equals 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. Four. In other words, see, 1 over 6 is equivalent to 4 over 24. Now, kopyahin natin yung denominator na 24. Then, i-add natin yung numerators natin. 3 plus 4 equals 7 plus x equals 3 fourth. Para ma-isolate si x dito, ito i-transfer natin sa kabila. Dahil nag-add siya dyan, mag-minus siya sa kabila. So, 7 over 24. 3 fourths minus 7 over 24. Cancel out na si 3. Oh, 7 over 24 dito sa kabila. So, ang natira ngayon ay x equals 3 fourths minus 7 over 24. Itong 3 fourths para ma-minus natin sa 7 over 24, hanapan natin sila ng least common denominator. Ang least common denominator dito ay 24. So, 24 divided by 4 equals 6. 6 times 3 equals 18. So, ang numerator ay 18. In other words, si 3 fourth ay equivalent ng 18 over 24. Then, minus 7 over 24. So, pwede na natin i-minus siya. Kopyahin lang si 24 na denominator. And then, ang numerator is natin 18 minus 7 and that is 11. So, ang equivalent ng x natin, yung hinahanap natin ay 11 over 24. Letter B. Ulitin ko lang para sa mga nalilito. Ito yung first layer na 1, 8. I-add natin sa second layer na 1, 6. Yung third layer, let x be that third layer na wala, hindi pa natin alam kung ilan yan. Tapos, ang total niya ay 3, Fourth. First, i-add natin para mag-add tayo ng fractions, dapat yung denominator natin ay pareho. So, ang mga denominators nito ay 24, yung least common denominator niya. Para magkaroon siya ng denominator na 24, so, ang equivalent ng 1, 8 ay 3 over 24. Ang equivalent ng 1, 6 ay 4 over 24. So, ang total nito ay 7 over 24. Tapos, kopyahin si x equals 3 fourth. Tapos, sinatransfer natin ito sa kabila. Nag-add siya. So, mag-minus siya sa kabila. Kaya, itong 3 fourth, but first, bago tayo mag-minus, itong 3 fourth, hinanapan natin ng itong dalawa, hinanapan natin ng least common denominator para ma-minus natin. So, ang least common denominator niya ay 24. So, ang 3 fourth ay equivalent ng 18 over 24. Tapos, nandito na minus 7 over 24. So, kinopya lang natin ang denominator. So, ang numerators natin ay 18 minus 7 equals 11. So, ang sagot dito ay 11 over 24. I-double check natin. Erase muna natin nito para may space tayo. So, ang first layer, 1, 8 plus 1, 6 plus yung third natin ay 11 over 24 equals 3, 4. Hanapan natin ang least common denominator ito. Ang, mga least, ang least common denominator nila, nila ay 24. So, 24 divided by 8 equals 3. 3 times 1 equals 
3 plus 24 divided by 6 equals 4, 4 times 1 equals 4. At ang pangatlo, kopyahin lang natin kasi 24 na ang denominator niya. Then, kopyahin ang denominator na 24. I-add natin yung mga numerators lang. 3 plus 4 plus 11 equals 18. So, ang 18 over 24, isimplify pa natin yan by finding the greatest common factor na pang-divide natin. Ang greatest common factor nito ay 6. So, i-divide natin ng 6. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. 24 divided by 6 equals 3, 4. So, ang sagot natin na 11 over 24 ay tama kasi equal siya. Question number 2. George cuts his birthday cake into 10 equal pieces. If six people eat a piece of George's cake, what fraction of the cake is left? Bali, 6 over 10. Yan yung nakain nila. Ang tanong ay, what fraction of the cake is left? So, 10 over 10 minus 6 over 10 is equals to 4 over 10. Ang 4 over 10, ilist pa natin yan by finding the greatest common factor, which is 2. So, 4 divided by 2 equals 2. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. So, ang sagot dito ay 2 over 5. Letter C. Although madali lang siya, pero para mas lalong mas maintindihan sa iba, Ang sampo, yan yung total, yan yung denominator natin. If 6, 6 ang nakain, tapos ilan ang natira, yan lang naman ang tanong, ilan ang natira. So, kung 6 ang nakain sa 10 uh, slices, so 10 minus 6 ang natira, 4. Yan yung numerator natin. So, itong sagot na ito, malist pa natin yan by finding the greatest common factor na 2. So, 4 divided by 2 equals 2, 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 2 over 5 ang sagot. Question number 3. A certain congressional district has about 490,000 people living in it. The largest city in the area has 98,000 citizens, which most accurately portrays the portion of the population made up by the city in the district. That means, ito ang, ang total ng uh, people living in it, yan yung denominator natin, 490,000. Tapos yung numerator natin, yung, ito yon yung 98,000. Para mas madali, i-convert natin into, or i-round off natin into 100,000 over 500,000. And this is equivalent to one-fifth. Another way. Isa pa, i-divide lang natin yan, yung 98, tat yung tatlong zero, huwag natin ng ipa, isali, kasi pareho lang naman ang result niyan. So, ito lang, ito yung decimal, lagay mo dyan, tapos mag-add ka ng zero. 980 divided by 490, and that is 2. Kung i-multiply mo yan, 980. So, ito yung sagot, 0.2.2. This is 2 over 10. This is 1 over 5, 1 fifth. Question number 4. Barbara can walk 3 and 1 fourth miles in 1 hour. At that rate, how many miles will she walk in 1 and 2 third hours? I multiply mo lang yan. Kasi in 1 hour, 3 and 1 fourth miles daw siya. What if kung 1 and 2 third Hours, i-multiply mo lang. 3 and 1 fourth times 1 and 2 third. Pag mag-multiply tayo ng fraction, dapat itong mixed numbers na ito, gawin natin improper fraction. 4 times 3 equals 12 plus 1, 13 over 4 times. 3 times 1 equals 3 plus 2 equals 5, 5 over 3. So, pwede na tayong mag-multiply. Numerator to numerator, 
and that is 65. Denominator to denominator, 4 times 3, that is 12. 65 over 12, improper fraction yan siya. So, isimplify natin. 65 divided by 12, and that is 5. Kopyahin yung denominator na 12. Yung numerator natin yan, yung remainder na 5. So, ang answer dito ay 5 and 5 over 12. Letter C. Para sa iba na nalilito regarding dito kung paano siya naging ganyan, ganyan lang yan, 65 divided by 12, 5. Dito ay 60. So, ito yung remainder. Ito yung whole number. Ito yung numerator. Tapos yung 12, kopyahin lang denominator natin. Letter C ang sagot. Question number 5. Three friends evenly split one and one-third pounds of peanuts. How many pounds will each person get? Tatlo daw sila. Evenly split. So, ibig sabihin, mag-divide tayo. Divided by 3. Mix number itong 1 and 1, 8. Gawin natin improper fraction bago tayo makapag-divide. 8 times 1 equals 8 plus 1 equals 9. So, 9 over 8. In other words, si 1 and 1, 8 ay pariho lang sa 9 over 8. Divided by 3. Since division ito, itong 9 over 8, kopyahin lang natin si 9 over 8. So, division maging multiplication at reciprocal ni 3 ay 1 over 3. So, pwede na tayong mag-multiply nito. 9 times 1 equals 9. 8 times 3 equals 24. So, ang 9 over 24, masimplify pa natin yan by finding the greatest common factor. Ang greatest common factor nila ay 3. So, 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 24 divided by 3 equals 8. So, ang sagot dito ay 3 over 8 pounds.